there are a few things as terrifying as hearing that you have a head gasket leak. You take your car to the mechanic to get checked out, oil change, some simple project like that, and they call you back letting you know that your car is basically dead. Well, fortunately with the Volvo 240s, the head gasket is not a particularly complicated uh, gasket to change. Um, and what I hope to do for you is to provide another resource uh, in, in the step-by-step -step instructions on how to get this swapped out. Um, it would be up to your discretion to send the cylinder head to be machined. However, I think that's pretty standard practice and, and I would think recommend it if you have a head gasket leak. Just do the whole thing at once and get it done right. Uh, along with that, you'll need a valve job possibly. Um, the kit that you can get from FCP Euro for something like $50 will include all of the gaskets needed for your intake and exhaust manifolds, your head gasket, your valve cover gasket, um, valve stem seals, and other miscellaneous uh, plugs and gaskets. Um, hope you enjoy this and I hope it's helpful. First step in this is going to be to remove uh, the battery. We're going to drain the coolant we're going to remove the upper radiator hose, lower radiator hose, the radiator, fan shroud, and the fan. Um, and, and of course the uh, coolant reservoir box here. That's uh, step one, get the coolant out, get the coolant components out, um, and that's it's going to give us access to everything else that we're going to start in here. Uh, the next step is going to be to take off the timing belt and other belts, and then we'll start on the intake manifold and then finish off with the exhaust manifold. So what I'm working with here is an old 91 240 wagon. Plenty of rust, dirt, grime, uh, dried up oil, bunch of gunk in here. So uh, make sure you've got a big can of PV blaster on hand if you're in the same situation that I'm in. In fact, I would go ahead and recommend the whole kit. Degreaser, PV blaster, shop rags, gloves, etc. So for the coolant, cardboard right there, Pop off the lower, lower radiator hose from the water pump there, let it drain down. Fan shroud is loose and the fan is loose, so it should be able to just turn the shroud, just like that. Okay, got it all out. Radiator, fan, fan shroud, got the uh, coolant reservoir removed, battery is removed. All right, finally got the belts off, well, most of them. Uh, got all the stuff out of the way. Um, thermostat housing and thermostat is out. I'm gonna start working on the intake manifold here. 